Okay, I no longer have the Philips 58 PUS 8535 Ford Trash 12 because a week before Christmas the television gave up. I was getting no picture but the backlight was showing that there was when I was using the menus that there was things happening that I couldn't see. So I had to scrap that television after 13 months. I only mean, bought it in November of 2021 and December 2022 it failed. So now I'm using this television the LG 50 UQ 70006 LB which is apparently a um, VA panel television as well but unlike the, Fi the Philips television I had the blacks aren't black in this the blacks are grey oh, oh I shouldn't do this so I'm um, I'm only using this tem te television temporarily. I did downsize to a 50 inch from a 58 inch because the television was too big for the sitting room, the 58 inch. So I'm now using a 50 inch. Anyway, this video is for to show that the uh, it's remote control. If it will focus. This remote control will work on the LG50 UQ70006 LB2022 television. And it will. It works perfectly. I press this button, this button, that button, that button, this button, the home button. Back home menu, the back button, menu button, and if I hold, long hold the menu button, typical LG, the menu takes forever to load up. That works, that works, that works. Every button on this remote works except the Disney Plus button and the Google Assistant button. This button doesn't work and that. No, I never tried that button. That button don't work. When I press that button, I exit the menus first. When I press the Disney Plus button, this happens. This button is not available. When I press the Google Assistant button, it says Google Assistant is not supported in this country, which is Ireland. <laughs> so, this, what the remote control is it again? The, uh, I can't read it, I'm blind. The LG, um, well, here's the instructions for it anyway. That's the instructions that came with it. When I got it first, I thought it wasn't working with the television. But then, I unregistered it by uh, pressing, by pressing the home button and back button for five seconds. Like it says here, because the, when I got it first, it, the power button was light, lit up constantly, and I, holding the holding this button here for five seconds wasn't registering it, and pressing the home button and menu button for five to ten seconds didn't do anything, and then I realized. I need to press these buttons to deregister the remote control from 
whatever television was registered with it first and then pull that button for five seconds and it's registered with my television because I was reading on Amazon on the page I bought this that um, it doesn't work with the, te with the television the model number is MR22GN for this remote control it's not a genuine product it didn't even come in a box it came in one of those styrofoam envelope things and uh, it, was, it was registered to another television I think when I got it but it works perfect on my 2022 television which is only temporary for because it's a, it's not the best television really I could get worse television but this isn't the best television ever I don't like LG televisions but it was the I was in a hurry to get a new television because my television just died and uh, I wasn't expecting it I was just watching a Blu-ray Blu vi video with my Panasonic UB820 and uh, I turned off the video and there was no picture turned off the television, plugged out at the television I pressed buttons on the remote control, I tried changing source no picture so um, I just had to get rid of the Philips television. Philips television wasn't the best in the in the world either. It had loads of lag and AV sync, and it was more problems than it was worth for the seven hundred euros I paid for it. Anyway, that's enough rambling for this video, and I'm sorry for not uploading videos for for it about two months or more but for the last two and a half three months suddenly the, uh, there was supposed to be uh, retrofitting work being to be done on this house and uh, I didn't know I wasn't expecting it because suddenly the contractors just rolled up into my driveway without notice and started putting external insulation in the house on the 22nd of October and since then all the way up to Christmas Eve they were still doing work around the house and uh, this is an estate of they had to do 11 houses and they were storing materials in my back garden that um, they were using to work at other people's houses so I had to be here all the time and uh, I couldn't do anything because there was six different contractors as you can see I don't have a fireplace anymore they took away my fireplace and there's a vent behind this speaker they put a vent there which I blocked up because it was leaving lots of cold air in and they blocked, it, blocked the fireplace they didn't block the chimney they just put ordinary plasterboard over it and plastered over it and called it a day. And the windows and doors aren't done properly. So that was it. And they're still not done. So I'm going to try and do more videos. But um, I'm a bit of a quandary now because with work's been done in the house. I can't do anything but I will be back I'd probably have another video in another day or two about um, I can't remember I have something else to show oh yeah a mouse I got I was going to show a motherboard but I cancelled that I got a CPU for my old X470 motherboard instead anyway I will stop this video now because it's going on 10 minutes and a few minutes of me rambling on rubbish. So um, have a nice day. I will be back.